Reality trend surfing changed my life in a big way, no exaggeration here. I read Reality Trend Surfing when I was 14 years old, as soon as this book was published in Russia. And now looking back, I must say that I'm very lucky and very grateful that I, I read Reality Trend Surfing so early on in my life. Because when you're a teenager and when you read Reality Trend Surfing at the age of 14 years old, it really shapes your character, it shapes your worldview, it becomes an integral part of uh, your life, unconscious uh, behavior, so to say. And uh, as a result of uh, reading Reality Trend Surfing so early on, I managed to achieve some amazing things at a very young age. So, welcome to Superpower Channel, and in today's video, I would like to share with you guys my personal experience with Reality Trend Surfing and how it helped me achieve some great things, but also which principles were the most life-changing and the most transformational, so you can use them in your life and achieve great things as well. All right, let's dive into it. The first thing I would like to talk about is the concept of uh, access potential. And so what access potential is, is basically when we attribute a lot of meaning and a lot of importance to certain things in our life. And you probably know it, when you want something from the bottom of your heart, you tend to think about those things 24-7. Uh, it's very easy to overthink, overwork, when you don't have clarity to create problems when they are not even there. Uh, fears, doubts, negative self-talk, attachment to the end result, all these things are access potential according to the author of Reality Trend Surfing, Vadim Zeland. Also, according to Vadim, this is also the number one reason why most people encounter a lot of issues, obstacles, difficulties, why they make a lot of mistakes before they achieve what they want. So, knowing about access potential, what it did, it really helped me achieve some great things. And what I mean by this, I remember when I was living in Ukraine, I had a big dream to travel the world. I wanted to move to the US and to uh, work and travel there for a few months. Then I wanted to live in Germany. I speak German, I wanted to experience the German culture. And then another dream I had was to move to London and to do my master's here. So for an average Ukrainian person, I think this, this were like impossible, unrealistic dreams. And uh, really for me, because I didn't really adopt uh, this belief, a very negative belief actually that a lot of people have, that we need to be fighting for our uh, dreams. We need to be working really hard. We need to hustle a lot before we achieve what we want. I didn't internalize this belief. And as a result of this, achieving all these impossible goals was... Now looking back, I would, say that, uh, I would say that this was an easy process. Like I really managed to avoid a lot of obstacles, a lot of negative uh, things that would really complicate my life just because I was constantly maintaining the right level of importance. So I was never overthinking. I was never really trying to find ways how am, am I going to do it. What I did, I was just balancing my mental energy. Like I knew what thoughts I need to be having to attract that reality when I'm traveling the world. Also, I was constantly aware of my attitude. Am I thinking that all those goals are impossible? Am I thinking that I need to be working hard? So every time I caught myself thinking these thoughts, I was I was becoming aware that no, this is the wrong way. If I think this way, I would start to um, encounter a lot of obstacles. So as a result of not doing all these things, I really attracted the right opportunities, the right people, the right uh, circumstances in my life that really enabled me to travel the world. And at the age of, I think, 23, uh, I've uh, achieved all of them, which is quite amazing. So, the second thing I would like to talk about is the idea of activating your inner observer or as Vadim Zeland calls it, your inner guardian. So, probably you know that most people during the day are um, very unaware of their thoughts, their feelings, their attitudes, so on and so forth. 
And it's, it's very easy to get triggered by uh, external circumstances, uh, especially when things are not working out in your favor, when people are saying things to you that you don't want to hear, when there are some negative uh, events happening in your life. So again, it's very easy to get tri triggered by them, but not when you know about activating your inner observer. So in simple terms, when you have an active inner observer, you are fully aware of your thoughts and of the external reality. So you have, I would say, a very high level of consciousness. And what happens when you have a high level of consciousness, you don't react to things on autopilot. You don't um, fall into that mode when you're not uh, aware of um, your thoughts, your feelings, your attitudes, and everything that you do in your life becomes a very conscious process. So I remember when I moved to London and when I wanted to apply for a visa and uh, uh, get a job here, there was a lot of uh, negativity in my external reality. Like a lot of people were saying that it's impossible to get a visa, it's impossible to get a job because it's the heat of Brexit. So I think if I didn't know about reality trend surfing and about this concept of uh, activating your inner uh, observer, I would succumb to this reality, I would react to it. And as a result of this, again, I would experience a lot of obstacles, a lot of uh, uh, negative things in my life. But because I didn't do it, what happened, I got a job in, I, was, I would say, I, I think it was the second interview that I had and I got a job uh, almost effortlessly. Of, of course, I still had to take steps, I still had to apply for different jobs, but I think because I was not um, a victim of that external reality and I was not thinking those thoughts that everyone else was thinking, uh, I automatically attracted the right employer, the right company, and uh, I got my visa uh, very easily. Uh, so. A second, the second proof that reality trend surfing can really make your life a lot easier. And the third thing I would like to talk about today is the concept of the reality mirror principle. So what reality mirror principle is according to reality trend surfing? It's a universal law uh, that everything that is happening in the outside world is a reflection of our inner state of being our thoughts, our feelings, our attitudes, the images we form in our mind, so on and so forth. So I'm sure you've heard about this many, many times, but I know that a lot of people know this uh, as a theory, so to say, but they don't really apply this knowledge on their day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and uh, reality trend surfing really taught me how to apply this reality mirror principle at everything I do every single day. So now, my life is very intentional. Like I don't really hope to achieve anything. I don't really dr dream about anything because I know that I'm a creator. And if I have clarity what I want to create in my external reality, I just form that image in my mind. I, I cultivate the right thoughts, the right feelings and the right attitudes. And as a result of this, I get a reflection of uh, my internal uh, state world in this external reality. Reality. So achieving any goal becomes, um, I can say, a very predictable process because now I know how I need to think, what I need to feel, uh, if I want uh, to uh, attract, to create uh, something uh, specific in my life. All right, guys, I hope you liked the uh, concepts that I just shared with you and uh, really reality trend surfing changed my life, like I said, in a big way because I think now I'm 26 and uh, when I'm looking back at my uh, life and previous life experiences, I've achieved so much and uh, this was not due to some kind of luck, not due to working hard and not due to really hustling. Um, it was due to reality trend surfing, it was due to the right uh, um, mindset and I can tell you that if you read reality trend surfing, which I highly highly recommend you can change your life in a big way as well thanks so much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next ones